Ja, das ist fantastisch. Is all ready. I can count one, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five planes already. And you can see the ones have already come across today. It's so quiet, you could hear a pin drop. Today I'm going in this direction. I went that way the first day, that way the second day. Now we're going to press out into here. This is day three. Oh, we went to the swimming pool yesterday. Oh, we must have been on those water slides for an hour. I hurt my ribs again getting landed on by Declan. And last, yesterday afternoon, I could not move. I think I lay down in bed for five hours. From about three till eight, I was exhausted. Which is good. Right, now where do we go here? I'm seriously considering getting an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Much better than this phone. I was looking at Liam's yesterday. I think a new one's coming out in a couple of weeks, less than two weeks, so I might be able to get the 13 Pro Max at a discount. Oh, I can hear that one going over. All right, I'm gonna consult the map. Okay, we are here and we're gonna walk that's the house there. We're going to walk around here today and back again. So we're going to follow that. It'll be 5.3 k's. The Gazite is 1.5 Stunden, which is fantastic. Das ist fantastisch. Ja, das ist fantastisch. So let us begin. I think it goes into the forest. This came this way before. Beautiful around here, absolutely lovely. Wow, this is a picture, I have to take it. Well, I was in so much pain yesterday from scootering, swimming, sliding, and walking. I couldn't move for hours. I was absolutely exhausted, but I seem to have come back again. Heading up here, and I'd say into the forest at the back there, and right around that way. I think these are the farms out here, farms proper. And uh, this is it, we've left first and fell. We say goodbye. Goodbye first and fell. Every um, bend, every corner, there's more beauty. It's just so mild too and cool. It's, it, when the sun comes up, it gets very hot. Very hot. I think I got sunburned yesterday. Can you hear that? 
good stuff. Now look at this. See, this is where they get their firewood from. To last the winter. There's lots of it, isn't there? Wow. Look at that. Wow. There's some timber here. Look at that. Oi. They'd probably be selling that. And now we come out onto more corn. May they love their corn out here. Well, they haven't seen anything on the menu that would that would indicate they grow corn. So entering the forest now. It's beautiful in here. I'm on 5% battery, if you can believe it. Oh, that's just a pain in the neck. Wow. Wow. Look at this. This is insane. I saw a couple of deer run in here just before I came in. I don't think this is the way. If I bring, get a bike, I will come up here and investigate all this. This is a very dry looking creek. Very dry. I wonder why they cut, they cut that tree down in particular. So I might get a bicycle and I'll go up there. But I'm pretty sure the walking track is up this way to the left. Another beautiful morning. The sun's not up yet, but it's twilight. But I'm going down for a little walk. This way. There's the town behind me. It's nice and mild. Big news is the the uh, fellow Gerhardt that is that lives in Firstenfell. He's the principal of a high school here. Let's wait for this car to go. I asked him about where I could get. I asked him about where I could get a, a mountain bike to hire, and it was a dinner last night with his beautiful wife. 
and I said, you know, but someday, where can I hire a bike? And his wife said, let him have your bike, because he's my size. He fought in the heavyweights in 1986, and I was in the Australian team in 1986 in Australia, World Championships. So, um, we're the same size. So, I'm going to get his bike this morning. So, I'll be able to get out the 360 camera and the GoPro. And, uh, ride around here. But it's another absolutely beautiful morning. So, and, and lo and behold, he, he just lives down here. He's the first house on the left. The White House. So I'm going to flip it now. I'm going to flip, flip the camera. So today I'm going to uh, get the GoPro out and the 360, whack it on the bike, and go through the forest again and ride all around here in the next couple of days and really record the beauty of the city, Fessenfeld in Ostreich. Let's flip that now. Oh, it's it's been so hot lately, and in the mornings it's just beautiful. It's nice and mild. It's cool and refreshing. A little bit chilly when you first start off, but then the sun comes up and you've been walking for a while, so it's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. And you don't usually see cars here until 7 o'clock. This is the second one I've seen, and it's only 6 a.m. 65. 48 a. Oh, look. I think that's it there. I think the bikes are over in there, but I won't go in until 8 o'clock. I said I'd be here at 8 o'clock. That's his house. Look how beautiful it is. This is his wood. Is that his little bike? Look at the timber. Look at the timber stored up here. It is amazing. It's just so neat. I wonder if that's a year's worth. Interesting, it's a nice looking little bike there too he's got. Well I found out some excellent news as well last night when we were at dinner. I always thought KTM for some reason was Dutch, maybe it was because of the orange, I know that's racist but it's Austrian. KTM is Austrian. There are these beautiful gloves that I wanted to get. I think they're the KTM official racing glove. And I couldn't get them in Australia. You can't get anything in Australia, really. So, um, when we go to Vienna, back to Vienna, I might make an attempt at finding these gloves. I'm not kidding. Look at this. What an absolute mess. Look at it. Look. It's aerial vandalism. Deary me. They're everywhere. I wonder, that's like, look, the sun's starting to peek through the clouds. There's this beautiful willow tree. I told you, I think I told you yesterday, but uh, in Australia they've cut down all the willow trees because they were racist. It was offensive. Trees from another country, unacceptable. So all the rivers have been stripped of their willows. This would be a lovely park here, look. There's another person there. of that park. I must say I, I was happy with 
I was happy with the quality of this phone. It's a Samsung 7 Edge, which I thoroughly recommend no one get. It's been a pain in the butt since I got it in 2016. Then going back to iPhone, but I... Liam was using his iPhone when we were at the pool, and it's amazing the things it does, the 13 Pro Max. So the plan is, when the 14 comes out in a week, the 13 might drop in price and I'll be able to get one a bit cheaper but it'll be it's you know for the ability to manip manipulate media it's like um, my motorbike I had a Yamaha and I was going to buy another Yamaha and my friend had just bought a KTM 890 Adventure R and he said have a ride of this and that was it I just went out and bought one the next day. I pulled the deal on the Tenere, and it is outstanding. Outstanding bike. I couldn't go back once I'd ridden that. I just my bike was rubbish. That's the same with this phone. Once I've seen Liam's phone and what it can do, this is rubbish. It's been a faithful little fellow for a long time now. We filmed a lot of uh, archery events on my phone, on the archery channel when we had that one. I might give you the link to a couple of those. They're interesting if you're into archery. We, um, what we did, we started, we started as enemies, this fellow and I, Jimmy, and I, I'm not tolerating him coming to my club and trying to beat me and vice versa. But we ended up training together. From scratch. So we documented on YouTube the rise from beginner to national champion, which was me. In the space of, well, in the space of in six months, my first tournament, I broke the national and the state record in uh, the 18 metre indoor event. So that's, that's interesting. If you're interested in archery, see how to get to the top. Three easy steps. First thing, buy the most expensive stuff you can, so there's no excuse. Second, shoot four hours a day. And thirdly, drink plenty of water. And it worked. There's nothing I haven't uh, won. I won five different state titles in one year. In every every uh, discipline of the art of archery. But it's time now to move on to other things. So I thought I might get my own channel together. And uh, show you how beautiful the world is. Alright, I'm going to turn this off now and just enjoy the walk. And then at 8 o'clock I'll go back and get the bike. We'll get the 360 camera, we'll get the, the uh, GoPro on. I've got to put a head strap for that because I've got no helmet. We'll go up on a lovely mountain bike ride. Over the next two days we'll thoroughly document first and foul. Thoroughly documented with the cameras. This is Scheistadgasse. Should we get, uh, if I go down this one, I'm back to my own area, which is a bit boring. No, I'll come down here. All right, then uh, I will see you later. Over and out. Oh, that's another thing. I've got to get some kind of catchphrase for the show. There's a lovely fellow I watch on the canals, Alan Davies, and he's, 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 he's catchphrase, bye for now. So I've got to think of one. If you've got any ideas, send them in. Okay, bye bye.